All right. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be going over my Surface Pro keyboard videos. So I made about three videos, um, and they're about like how to fix your Surface Pro keyboard if it stops working. And so I have like three different videos. Um, the first one that I have that's doing like the most popular is um, looking at more of like a hardware solution. So um, there's literally like two different routes that you're gonna go. So I only recommend the first um, solution only if you've been like struggling getting your Surface Pro keyboard to work for like I want to say over a week maybe you spent like a couple weekends three weekends and you even talked to Microsoft um, customer service and they weren't able to help you then I recommend going through that option another option that I always see in the comments is like hey um, you know I uh, did like you know the support people say about like you know your warranty were you able to get a fix via warranty so it's like I uh, really depends on you if you still have like your warranty and you're still valid I would double check if your warranty is still valid so that way you can get um, it fixed via just going through the manufacturer and then you don't have to spend any money at all uh, so this is like more relating to a hardware like problem and issue that they have so that's what I would recommend here and check it out. So um, I'm like suggesting like, you know, you can purchase like a Bluetooth keyboard. Uh, that way you can totally ditch using Microsoft's like Surface keyboard. Uh, my next two videos that I have is, one is on like the BIOS so you can try to fix it via software solution. So this is where you believe that it's not really a hardware problem and it's more like a software issue and this you can try this method all it is is you're going you're starting up your uh, keyboard via uh, bios and you just uh, make sure that you have the uh, surface pro keyboard like on or off so you can check out that video and hopefully that helps you out and i have one more video um which is kind of just going through i want to say the control settings and going in device manager and making sure you're like having like up-to-date like software and stuff like that and so that's like kind of like more like a common way to fix it and um, that one should be fairly easy I found that one via reddit and I didn't see any videos so I decided to put together a video and it ended up getting about 20k views and so this video I'm just kind of like following up on these three different ways that you can fix your keyboard and that's pretty much it just wanted to follow up and let you guys know what's up and if you guys have any questions leave them down below in the comments and subscribe for future videos other than that I will see you guys next time and have a good day peace